Welcome back. There's a saying at North Dakota State, once a bison, always a bison. That certainly rings true for a newer member of the football coaching staff who won three national championships as a player at NDSU. Here's Brian Sean with cornerbacks coach Brian Shepard. All right, Kelly, thanks so much. Appreciate it. We are joined by Brian Shepard, who is the cornerbacks coach here at North Dakota State. He is a bison through and through. He won three national championships here and is still here now, coaching up the younger guys, trying to get him back to that national championship level again. Brian, first of all, let's go back a little bit. You know, I remember when you first got here, the transition for you trying to get used to playing Division I football after your program at Omaha up and went away. What do you recall about that experience, about going from there and having everything just kind of end to, to come in here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I still remember that. It's, it's crazy to see, you know, how much time has passed since that's happened. But uh, I remember, just like everyone else, we were actually, it was like the weekend, you know, hanging out with my teammates, and we see, like, on the news, hey, the football and wrestling program is cut. And we're like, what? Are you serious? You know, a lot of guys were upset. It was crazy. And then from then, uh, you know, it was just open recruitment for any uh, university that, you know, wanted us. I was interested in any of our prospects. So North Dakota State being one of them, I took a, a visit here and, you know, the rest was history. So you, can't, you come in here, obviously a huge transition. You're still learning all these different positions between coming in and playing nickel and playing corner. You played some safety here. What do you remember about getting coached up here, you know, and getting ready and playing at the high level you did? Uh, I just remember being coached up. Uh, who is Coach Kleiman now the head coach, you know. Just, uh, you know, he's a genuine guy, just explaining the, uh, you know, the game of football and making it simple for me. So, you know, it came, came easy as far as me playing multiple positions. So just enjoyed it and just try to, you know, fit in with the group of guys that were doing excellent things. So. Could you ever envision you would have won three national championships here the way you did, especially in 13, how dominant that team was? Unbe I mean, unbelievable that you're part of a team that was considered maybe the best FCS team of all time. I know, it, you know, it's kind of crazy to sit back and think about that, you know, but I mean, when I look back at it, we, we had some guys back then. I mean, we have guys now, but that 2013 team was, it was stacked when you look at that roster. So now you, you go, you try to play professionally, you get all the way to the final cut, literally, with the Washington Redskins coming out of college as an undrafted guy. What was it like playing professionally, playing in the CFL and getting all those opportunities? Because not easy, not easy to do that as an FCS guy, especially undrafted. Yeah, no, it was a great experience. Uh, obviously, I learned a lot of things, but, you know, just being out there competing with some of the guys that you see on TV, uh, that was a neat experience, just seeing, okay, you know, I can compete with some of these guys. Now, some of the, you know, the top elite guys, it was a little different, but even still, you know, it was pretty neat that I got to experience that. I saw a couple guys, Marcus Williams obviously has had a great career, you know Marcus well. C.J. Smith, he's still competing, getting better. Are you keeping in touch with a lot of those guys? Yeah, I talk to those guys all the time. You know, I know C.J., he'll get another shot just being who C.J. is, and his resume speaks for itself, and Marcus is doing well, still, you know, still balling, so in contact with all those guys. So transitioning, you come back to North Dakota State, you finish your degree, say, I'm going to go into coaching. How did that process work to get to where you are now at being defensive backs coach at NDSU? Uh, well, coaching probably started with me probably back in high school. Uh, my guy back at the Lake the North, uh, Coach Owens, he, he had a big impact, you know, as far as me going about things every day. And because of him, I knew I wanted to coach. And then obviously when I got here, Coach Kleiman, those guys made me even uh, want to even more to, you know, to be in the coaching. What's it like coaching guys now? You played the positions here. Is it, is it weird? Because you're not that far removed from some of these younger guys. You're still a pretty young guy yourself, Chef. What's it like coaching them now? Uh, it's good, you know. It's almost like, like with our team, uh, a lot of the seniors are the ones doing a lot of the coaching, if that makes sense. So when I was a senior, it was just like me coaching a Trey Dempsey, who was a freshman. Obviously, he's a senior now, so, I mean, it's not a big deal. Those guys respect me, knowing that I've been through what they're going through, so. It's easy. What's your favorite part about coaching here? What makes this place special for you that you still want to continue to be a part of the program here? Because not everybody sticks around Fargo, but you're kind of a Fargo guy now. I am. Fargo's <laughs> home now. But, uh, you know, just seeing some of these young guys, uh, Dom Davis or Marquise Bridges, whoever it is at corner, seeing those guys that I'm coaching, just knowing that, you know, five or six years ago I was, in the, I was the same guy in, in their shoes. So that's probably makes me want to stick around. 
All right, Brian, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate the time, and uh, good luck to you. And good to see you on the coaching staff, oh, too, yeah. man. That's a lot of fun. Different for me, too. It ages me a little bit, because <laughs> I used to cover you when you were just a sophomore when you first got here. I know. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right, Brian appreciate Shepard, it. Kelly, back to you. All right, Brian, thank you. And some other good news for another NDSU defensive back this week as well. C.J. Smith signed with the Cleveland Browns practice squad. So very cool for him. Coming up after the break, it's never too early to start talking North Dakota hockey. The NCHC preseason polls are out, and we'll take a look at where the Fighting Hawks rank, plus an interview with North Dakota volleyball head coach Mark Pryor on his 15-2 squad. You're watching Midco Sports tonight. <laughs>